Hey everybody, Scout Crafter here. Uh, a couple years ago, I bought a few acres of land upstate and half of it was uh, like this. Nice, manicured, looks good. And the other and half, the other half was like this. I mean, you can't even get through it. So little by little, I started clearing each, uh, all this scrap and cutting it up and dragging it to drag piles. Piles like this. And uh, I kept making these piles until eventually there's another pile and uh, there's another pile and they go all the way back. But now I made it a pathway so that I can get my vehicle in here because next year I have plans of bringing, uh, renting a tractor and a chipper and getting rid of a lot of this now, stuff. I was very lucky in the fact that, uh, well, this wasn't touched in, in years, but I had to uh, make trails to at least get through by foot. And uh, again, like I said, piles and piles of uh, brush that I'll be chopping hopefully next year. But I noticed I had a lot of uh, deer on the property, a lot of wildlife. In fact, uh, here's a picture of one of the deer. Early one morning, I found this little guy about 100 yards from where I'm building this shelter now. So today, I decided to make a, uh, a pile a little bit different. And how I made this pile, I made it like a, uh, a shelter that the deer might be able to use. Winter's coming up. I mean, we're in October now. And uh, here's the shelter I made. And scouts, we used to use this, make an expedient shelter and sleep in it overnight. And then tear it down and use it for firewood the next day. But this one's a little bit bigger. It's about eight feet wide. Uh, made mostly of sticks, just laying and crisscrossed across. And then covered with leaves, baskets and baskets of leaves. And inside, I got a half a bale of hay, as you can see. Now, when making any kind of shelter, there's a couple things to consider. One, uh, it should be pretty large in the fact that deers, uh, they don't like to be in claustrophobic areas and they need a, a good escape route, more or less. So they won't go in like a small uh, box type shelter. Uh, it's good to have some kind of bedding or something if you can in there. Um, and also, don't make it too tight. They like to be able, if they could see out, like these little cracks in here, you could see. They could see out and see if there's anything, uh, predators or anything coming, and they can hear. They're more likely to use a shelter like this. Also, uh, it, it, sometimes they like to face south, but here, I have it in a very quiet part of my property, so they'll uh, hopefully use it, and uh, we'll see what happens. But that's what, uh, that's what we did today. We made a, a little lean-to for the deer, and I know there's a huge bear on my property. I hope he don't uh, settle in there for the winter. <laughs> okay. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a good day, all right? Bye-bye.